A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter twenty, verses eleven to eighteen. Passage taken from the Message version of the Bible. But Mary stood outside the tomb weeping. As she wept, she knelt to look into the tomb and saw two angels sitting there, dressed in white, one at the head, the other at the foot of where Jesus' body had been laid. They said to her, "Woman, why do you weep?" They took my master, she said, and I don't know where they put him. After she said this, she turned away and saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't recognize him. Jesus spoke to her, "Woman, why do you weep? Who are you looking for?" She, thinking that he was the gardener, said, "Mister." If you took him, please tell me where you put him, so I can care for him. Jesus said, "Mary." Turning to face him, she said in Hebrew, "Rabbi," meaning teacher. Jesus said, "Don't cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go to my brothers and tell them, I ascend to my Father and your Father, my God and your God." Mary Magdalene went, telling the news to the disciples. I saw the master, and she told them everything he said to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Gospel according to John, chapter twenty, verses eleven to eighteen. We are once again told of the resurrection experience of Mary Magdalene. John narrates that she saw two angels in the place where the body of Jesus was placed. Although Jesus's body is absent, John says one of the angels was facing the head and the other faced the feet of Jesus. Perhaps John was suggesting the image of the cherubim Guarding the mercy seat of the holy of holies in the temple, the mercy seat represented God's invisible presence in the temple, and indeed of God's presence in the world. Now, with the stone rolled back, the holy of holies is empty. God in Jesus had exited the tomb to be available to the whole world. This image of the empty tomb. As an emptied holy of holies is similar to the image of the tearing of the temple veil in the synoptic gospels at the time of Jesus' death. Mary turned away from the tomb and saw Jesus outside in the garden, but mistook him to be the gardener. Mary's turning around to see Jesus was truly an understatement. What she was about to see would turn upside down everything the world had known. The Easter faith requires turning one's back on all previous assumptions and world views. Jesus sent Mary as the first apostle to the disciples to tell them of Jesus's imminent ascension to the Father. His disciples had deserted him at the time of his passion, but now. He calls them as brothers. Despite their deserting him, he had not deserted them. In the course of the last supper, Jesus had said to the disciples, "I no longer call you servants; I call you friends." But now he seems to say, "I no longer call you friends; I call you brothers." Do we recognize our brother Jesus? not only in our prayer and during the reception of the holy eucharist but when he walks by our side in the lives of our brothers and sisters around us and in the ordinary events and circumstances of life